Hi everybody, my name is Lindsay and I'm a book buddy for Sherman Elementary. Hi all my Sherman Sharks! Today I'm excited to share this book with you called Pizza Day. Um, in this book we see a little boy who gets to pick ingredients for his homemade pizza in his garden, which is a great thing to do during the summertime. And uh, one of my favorite things to do in the summertime is go outside and play in the sunshine. And you'll see some of that in this book today. So let's get started. As we read through, maybe think about what your favorite kind of pizza is and what you like to put on your pizza. I like pepperoni. All right, here we go. Today is pizza day. I get to help daddy in the garden. Caesar helps too. The seeds Daddy and I planted in the spring have turned into lots of vegetables and herbs. Let's see tomatoes and green peppers. This is what we gather from our garden and bring into the house. Five juicy red tomatoes plucked from the vine. One, two, three, four. Five. Four sprigs of basil pinched from the stalk. One, two, three, four. Three small carrots pulled from the ground. One, two, three. Two round onion bulbs dug up from the earth. There they are. One, two. And one shiny green pepper clipped from the plant. We wash the vegetables and get ready to make pizza. Those vegetables delicious. First, we have to make the dough. Daddy measures the yeast, water, oil, salt, and flour, and we pour each one into a big bowl. I mix it all together with a wooden spoon. It turns into a big, sticky, squishy lump. Daddy dumps the dough onto a board. We both knead it with our hands. The big, sticky, squishy lump becomes smooth and shiny. Daddy says we have to let the dough rest for an hour so it can rise. We let it take a little nap while we start the tomato sauce. Sweet dreams, pizza dough, I whisper. Daddy chops the tomatoes and carrots and onions we brought in from the garden. Mmm, it starts to smell yummy in our kitchen as the vegetables and herbs cook in oil. The sauce needs to cook for a while so that the vegetables can soften. Now it's time for the sauce to take a little nap. Sweet dreams, tomato sauce, I say. There are a lot of things to do outdoors while the dough and the sauce rest. We play catch, we slay some dragons, are playing with the puppy. We wrestle a wild beast to the ground and then it's time to finish making the pizza. Wake up, I say as I uncover the dough. It's grown twice as big. I get to punch it down. Wham! Daddy plops it onto a baking sheet and rolls it into a big circle. This will be the crust. Wake up, I shout again as Daddy uncovers the pan. The sauce is thick and darker red now. We put it in the blender. I push the button. Whiz! The sauce wakes up. Now we can put together the pizza. To start, we roll out the dough. Then we add the sauce. Now we add the toppings, the green peppers, tomatoes, and mushrooms. And then we add the cheese. And we're finished. Then we set it in the oven and wait. That looks delicious. While the pizza bakes, we put away our gardening tools and toys. We brush the wild beast and give him fresh water. Soon it's time to eat pizza. Daddy takes it out of the oven and slices it into triangles. Doesn't that look good? I put a few basil leaves on my slice and take a big bite. Mmm, I love pizza day. In the back of this book, there's some recipes for pizza so you could make your very own. 
right. Thanks everybody for sharing this story with me. I had a lot of fun reading to you. Have a great summer.